This is the story of two best friends who decided to start a beer review channel in the middle of a pandemic. We're Kara and Candy, and we are Two Blondes Drink Beer. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Two Blondes Drink Beer. I'm Kara, and this is Candy. Hi. And today we're going to be drinking a BJCP category 30A, which is spice herb or vegetable because this has chocolate on a base style of a 20A, which is an American Porter. Today we're drinking Shake by Boulder Beer Company. Yay! Yay! All right. This one sounds delicious. Yes. I like their can, it's understated. It really is. You know, they just went through a rebrand. Oh yeah? And all of the um, labels now have black and white photos which are taken by fellow Boulderites in oh, the that's area cool. that represent Boulder. And it says straw is optional. I saw that because it's a <laughs> shake. I get it. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah. This also comes in a barrel aged version. I oh, was reading, but... we need to find that one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is not the, not the barrel aged. This is 5.9. I would put this oh in my the, gosh. <laughs> the laundry stout category. What what is happening Except over there? Except it's not a stout, it's a porter. Oh, I you're right, you're right. I uh, made a mess already. Well, that was quick. I don't know. Okay. Man, I can smell it from here. Can you smell it? Oh, you did. <laughs> don't mind me. Kira. <laughs> it's a party foul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, aroma. No, it's sticking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a mess. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It does smell like chocolate. It smells like dark chocolate. Isn't that what it yes. says? Dark chocolate? <laughs> yes, it's yeah. dark chocolate. And it smells like that. Mmm. Mm, I have high hopes for it with how it smells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 12 out of 12. Easy 12 out of 12. Okay, appearance. I must drink it. Um, oh, it's, it's brown. brown. It, it's, it's brown and it's almost clear. Yeah. It's like a not opaque, but not clear. Translucent. Okay. Wait, does that mean clear? I think so. What's in between? I, I don't know. No anyway, it's not quite clear, but almost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can. Yeah, it's brown. And yes. when you hold it to light, it's like a reddish brown. Yeah, it has like a reddish tint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very like pretty. It. Three out of three. Three out of three. All right, let's drink this. Oh, it is a dark oh, chocolate. I am pleasantly surprised. Ooh. So this is one of their best-selling beers. Oh, it's nice. And Let's I'm put the rest of that in there. I'm really excited about this because sometimes, well, not sometimes, it's hard to find a really good porter. Like, it is. All the time. That's why I'm surprised. I don't normally love porters. Uh, yeah. They just kind of taste watered down to me mm -hmm. most of the time. I don't know why that is. It's something about the style. Something about the mouthfeel and porters yeah. are usually leave, leave me uh, longing for something more. Like but... a sex life. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, don't know if you know, but they are the very first craft brewery, first microbrewery in the state of Colorado. Oh, get out! In 1979 is okay. when they were founded. 79. Um, I know, they're good year. 40 years old. Uh, but, I was one. <laughs> <laughs> I was two. Yeah, so they say that, um, you know, people from Boulder grew up on their beer, especially their hazed and infused uh, beer is really popular also, but this this one is too. Yeah. No, that's delicious. I see why this one's popular. Yeah. That's um real yum. 5.9, so. Yeah. Laundry good, porter. You could have a couple. It's laundry laundry porter. Laundry, the laundry, laundry porter list now. Pretty much my standards for porters are very low. <laughs> I think that's why. I always get excited. I see that dark color and I'm like, oh, and then I always taste a porter and I'm like, now should have ordered a stout <laughs> this one's yum yeah i like it i'm a fan thank you for bringing this into my life i didn't bring any straws but <laughs> no straws it's, it's, surely there's some sort of rules against using straws for beer i feel that's probably not Terrible. a good we don't really follow the rules so True, i don't know if that really matters i don't know about that yeah <laughs> it doesn't sound good mm -mm. I suppose if you wanted to make it look like you were drinking something else, if you put a straw in it, no one would think it was beer. This so. is true. You could put it in like a opaque glass. Yeah. And at the soccer game, no one will know. No None one of the other know. moms. Dance. They're all doing it too. <laughs> Dance class. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'm already going to read this. Mm. I'm going to give it a high score. I want to give it a 19 out of 20. Yeah, I agree. 19 out of 20. Yeah. It's really, yeah. really good. It is good. And we're moving on to mouthfeel, right? Yeah, mouthfeel. So... That's medium, don't you think? I would say medium, yeah. Not light, not heavy. And uh, it's got 
some nice carbonation. We didn't talk about it when we were talking mm -hmm. about the color, but there's a nice head. Yeah, it had a pretty head yeah. when we poured it. <clears throat> I, um, oh my gosh. I fought with a tree. <laughs> I mowed today, and on our back property line, there's a lot of trees, and I was like fighting for my life with one, and it got, got me. you. I know. It looks like tree a tree one, candy zip. Cat scratch. No, my kitties don't scratch. Yeah. They love got me. got you. I did. Speaking of kitty, my rapper today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I almost didn't fix my hair all the way for you with the shirt because I got dressed and then I was doing my hair. And first, you know how you do like the rough blow dry? Mm -hmm. Well, my hair's so crazy. It goes, Whoa. Look like a lioness. And I had on my cheetah shirt and I, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna leave it like this and just be wild. I didn't, I can't do that to you guys. You don't want to see that. Oh, I it's think crazy. we want to see no. it. Um, I like this. I like the mouthfeel. I like the mouthfeel. Medium. It's, yeah, it's kind of refreshing. A little bitter on the back end. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, medium body. Yeah, five out of five. Nice and bubbly, five out of five. Your overall. overall drinking pleasure. Wow, I find this quite pleasurable. <laughs> <laughs> I think their uh, tagline is bolder than ever. Isn't that fun? That is fun. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. They like, use bolder. bolder. So they kind of um, transitioned because they were, they're not brewing this beer like it historically was. So they had a partnership with Sleeping Giant not too long ago, maybe two years ago. And um, no, it is fully distributed and managed by them uh, so that they could carry on the legacy and the brew pub is closed. And so it's kind of, it's kind of a new chapter for them, which is why they did the rebranding and everything. Um, but excited. So they don't have a tap house at all now. No, but we can still get it. So Yay. that's awesome. Well, that's good. You can just drink it in the privacy of your own home. Yeah. And it's pretty, pretty widely distributed. I think it said 28 states. And well, you got that here, right? Several Kansas countries. City. Yeah, so we got this here. We're a ways away from California. We California. just started Sorry. getting Boulder beer in Kansas City. So that's exciting. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, KC. Yeah. It's our first review from a Boulder brewery. It is. I feel like my shirt's doing weird things. Is it? You're just kind of having a moment. Know, I'm just, you know. We got uh, hot. We got we hot. I was trying on a fan. <laughs> I was running late. We're late. We're running behind today. It's just going to take a moment and drink a little beer. Yeah. It makes you feel better. <laughs> it has medicinal purposes. <laughs> it totally ruins the It does turn. not increase your milk supply. As we found out on a different. <laughs> different episode. Different episode of Two Blondes. Um. Yes. They used to give milk stouts for <laughs> lactating mothers. It's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Right? <laughs> Don't give out any weird advice. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else you could. No, I just no, it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of overall. 10? Overall, yeah. Wow. Right, I'm going with it. Don't, don't hit your teeth. <laughs> Do you have a drinking problem? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no more stories for this one. I don't think I do either. I feel like I'm weirdly out of words for once. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first. You heard it here first. So that leaves us with a 49 out of 50, right? 48. 48 out 48 of 50. 48 out of 50. Let's try it again. 48, 48 out of 50, 50 for Boulder, Boulder Beer Shake. Cheers! beer that's delicious i really like it did you see my glass it's a game of thrones glass that says i drink and i know things mine's from a local brewery the goat brewing company the they're goat. new they're in lee summit check them out yeah they're fun fun location mm -hmm. i really like their their, their space is really cute mm -hmm. it's got a lot of mixed materials in the design super cute it is cute super cute super cute all right cute. yay yay Good Brewer. porter. Yeah, good porter. Who knew? Who knew? See, it's wrap. like doing weird things. That's what is of... happening with my microphone? <laughs> it's kind of rolling in. It's rolling. tight and itchy. I'm like my kids with jeans. There's a tag. What's wrong with your shirt? <laughs>